what will keep you motivated because it's rewarding. When you, when you push yourself to do something even when you're not 100% into it, but you get back results in return, this is rewarding and this is motivating. That's where you can get your motivation from. I'll give you a perfect example. I'll tell you a secret. I am not always 100% motivated when I train. I train five days a week and I've, done, I've trained five days a week for the past five years. And I'm probably only 50% motivated when I train. You know, it's gotten to that stage where it's, I know it's a continuous grind and I just need to get it done. In the past five years, I've probably missed four weeks. In five years, I've probably missed four weeks of training. All the other 256 weeks, I've trained five days a week. And do you think I was motivated every one of those days? There were days when I didn't feel like picking up a single dumbbell. I didn't feel like picking up a single weight. I didn't feel like training, putting my, even putting my, my training gear on. But I did them. I think I did them every single time. I can't remember when I didn't, the day when I didn't do it. Because I knew that if I give up just once, I'm going to allow myself to do it over and over again. If I tell myself, it's okay today, then what about the next time I don't feel motivated? What about next week? Again, I don't feel 100% today, I'll just skip it again. The cycle will continue and then you just keep doing it. Okay? So you don't always have to be 100% motivated. Number two, commitment. People, often we don't act big enough or often enough or consistently enough. And the reason is because we're worried about whether, whether, we're gonna, whether what we're doing is going to be enough. But to be successful, it's vital that you stop worrying about whether it's enough or not, whether you get there straight away or not. And just quit testing the water's temperatures, quit testing things it's cold or hot, and just jump in. Okay? Just get into the water in the first place. Until you start approaching your goal as though you're on a mission, okay? not just a goal, but it's a mission, something that you need to, you need to do, it'll just be reduced to just a job. Okay? Just has anyone been in a job where they couldn't wait to clock off? You know, my first job was Hungry Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> my first job was Hungry Jacks. I was getting paid five dollars sixty-five an hour. You know, I was a fifteen-year-old kid, and I couldn't wait till I clocked off. I was like, I ripped off the hat, you know, like almost burst the bottom of my shirt, and like I'm out of here. That's how I felt. But how do you turn your goal into a mission? By becoming passionate about it, becoming passionate about your goal, getting hooked on the idea of success, the idea of achieving it isn't enough. Because we all like the idea of getting to where we want to be. But we also have to like the idea of actually doing the things that we need to do. It's easy to want something, but what we need what I'm saying is we need to want the things that we need that you have to do. And being passionate about it, you have to love it. When you love something, like I said before, you don't always have to enjoy it every single time you do it. So what does being passionate about your goal mean? It means not making success optional. It means thinking of it as more important than just maybe. Okay? Not letting failure be an option either. Commit to achieving your goal as if it's the only option. Now, of course, there's going to be a possibility that when that there's a big possibility that you won't get it straight away. I'm not saying, um, you know, put too much pressure on yourself and, you know, um, hate yourself if you don't get there. What I'm saying is, just try to raise the stakes a little bit, okay? When you change your mentality from, I wish it happens, I'll try to get there, I hope it happens, to, you know, that's reactive, right? The pro, when you change it to proactive, I must make it happen, I won't stop until I get there, I will make it happen. There's a positive, there's a proactive, they're not, they're not reactive, they're not maybe. Okay. Then, when you commit to your goal like this, in this way, you'll figure out how to get it done. 